is raised by the sun. Unless you take all, I cannot sing you by the sun. Unless you take all, in the valleys of Zion, Jesus, take all. Good morning to the Global Church family this morning. We enter his gates with thanksgiving and we enter his courts with praise. We are advancing the courts. We are advancing the courts this morning. Right where you are, let's begin to agree in prayer. We are calling upon the name of Elohim this morning. We are making petitions today. We are making our requests known unto God. We're here to pray this morning. What a sweet presence is in the prayer room. This is Apostle Anna Edwards. And I'm going to be with you for the next one hour as we continue to push in prayer. We are in the week of Pentecost. And Pentecost represents the greatest outpouring of the Holy Spirit that the world has ever seen. Pentecost fire is here. Pentecost power is here. Pentecost anointing is here. It's the birthing of the first church. It's the place where the Holy Spirit first came to the earth and met with the disciples in the upper room. This morning we are in the upper room. This morning we're going to continue to intercede until the Holy Spirit comes down and meets with us. So I encourage you right where you are, begin to pray in your heavenly language. Begin to speak in another language, your heavenly language. Let the Holy Spirit make intercessions through you. Let the Holy Spirit pray through you this morning. Very softly, very gently begin to pray, begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Let us begin to ask the Lord to take over. Let's begin to ask the Lord to take over our spirit, take over our worship life, take over our prayer life. Mighty God, this morning we come into agreement and we're asking you God to take over, take over this prayer room, take over our time of intercession. Mighty God, take over God, take over this week as we lead up to the Pentecost day. My God, this is going to be the greatest outpouring that the world has ever seen. For mighty God, Pentecost is here. Pentecost power is here. Pentecost fire is here. And so I'm asking you, God, to let fresh fire fall. Let fresh fire fall upon intercessors. Let fresh fire fall upon watchmen. Let fresh fire fall upon pastors. Let fresh fire fall upon the houses of prayer. Let fresh fire fall. Holy Ghost, take over this morning. Mighty God, we want to go further than we've ever gone before. But we need the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. We need the empowerment of your spirit. Let the spirit of the Lord breathe this morning. Breathe upon us this morning. Breathe upon prayer altars this morning. Let the seraphims come from heaven and drop fresh coals. Begin to drop fresh coals this morning, mighty God. Mighty God, send down your power. Send down your anointing. Mighty God, we advance. We advance the courts. We advance the courts through the power of the blood. We thank you this morning for power to pray. We thank you this morning for the anointing to advance, to enter into the courts. We thank you this morning, mighty God, that your mighty warring angels are encamped all around us. We thank you, mighty God, that we are locking shields this morning as warriors and intercessors. This morning we have come to bombard the gates of heaven. This morning we have come to pull from heaven the power that we need. We are pulling from heaven power, new power to advance in our ministry, new power to advance 
in our businesses, new power to advance in our family lives. We pull from heaven this morning as we begin to advance. We ask the Holy Spirit to make intercession through us to unknown tongues. Let the Holy Spirit begin to make intercession this morning. Every single person begin to pray, begin to pray. Let the power of intercession begin to move through you. As we continue to call pray, let us advance, pray, open your mouth and pray this morning. I declare it is scattered. It is We are the forces of darkness this morning. Pray, pray, pray.
new tongues of fire is falling this morning. Receive new tongues of fire this morning. Receive your portion this morning. Receive new tongues of fire. Let the Holy Spirit fill you with new tongues this morning. Open your mouth and receive new tongues. Begin to pray. Let your mouth move. The Holy Spirit is releasing new tongues of fire. You got to push and pray this morning. Ask the Holy Spirit for new tongues. Everybody connected, associated, are related with this ministry. Whatever be your career, whatever be your profession, whatever be your vocation, I am anointed with a mantle of fire, an apostolic and a prophetic fire mantle to announce to you that God shall be here. The Holy Spirit came to lose your tongue so that your world can hear your voice. <laughs> came to lose your tongue so that your world can hear your voice. God is losing your tongue. To lose your tongue. To lose your tongue so that your generation can hear your voice. Lord, let, your, let our tongues be loose. To lose your tongue. Principalities must hear our voice. Powers shall hear our voice. The occult, they shall hear our voice. The government shall hear our voice. New tongues of fire. It is scattered. 
receive your tongues of fire this morning. Pray, woman of God. Pray, man of God. We got to pray. We got to pray. Where is the fire? Where is the fire? Do I got any fire starters in the prayer room this morning? Do I got any prayer warriors in the prayer room this morning? Let the fires go up. Send up the fire. Send up the fire. Come on, pray, pray, pray. Aluwa said that your voice pray. shall not be heard in your generation. Aluwa said that that which shall come forth from you shall be buried in obscurity. For of a truth today, there is a releasing forth of that which you carry, and there's a releasing forth of the potentials that are on the inside of you. And from today, henceforth, as you open your mouth, you shall speak as an oracle of my You shall speak as an oracle, and that which you shall speak. intercessions tongues of fire tongues of fire the Holy Spirit is releasing tongues of fire this morning right where you are right where you are continue to intercede and all you got to do is ask the Lord ask the Lord for new tongues of fire we are in the Pentecost outpouring we are in the Pentecost power we are under the Pentecost anointing and I'm telling you, tongues of fire is falling. Many of you, you're getting ready to rise to a new level of ministry. You're getting ready to rise to a new level of intercessions. We're getting, you're getting ready to go up. You're coming up. You're coming up. I see you coming up. I see you ascending into a new level in your ministry. 
tongues of fire will be upon you tongues of fire will be upon you and just as the prophecy came forth this morning you will be an oracle to your generation when you open your mouth the word of the Lord will be as a fire shut up in your bones the word of the Lord will be as a fire a hot fire shut up in your bones when you speak altars will catch fire that is the level of tongues that is coming that is the level of anointing that is coming that is the next level of power that is coming I want you to receive those new tongues of fire I want you to receive that new level of anointing I want you to receive the anointing and trust the Holy Spirit to intercede through you we got to trust the Holy Spirit to intercede many times we just have to allow the Holy Ghost to intercede in us because the Bible says it is the Spirit of the Lord that makes intercessions for us with groanings and utterings that cannot be heard and so this morning I just declare over your life new power new power Pentecost power be released on your life Pentecost anointing be released over your life the power the power to pray the power to push the power to make intercession the power to break through the forces of darkness new power be released over your life new anointing be released over your life you will not be delayed you will not be denied in this season no devil will stop you no devil will hinder you you will not be sidetracked you will not be set up you will push in prayer and your prayer will override satanic altars you will push in prayer and your prayer will break down the forces of darkness you will push in prayer you will push in worship i declare over worshipers your worship life goes to another level as you yield yourself on the altar of prayer as you yield yourself in service to the lord your worship life goes to another level the lord will use you as a vessel pure and fit to be used for the master's use the lord will use you the lord will anoint you the lord will empower you the lord will give you pentecost power as long as you submit and you yield yourself to the wooing and to the using of the of the holy ghost new power new anointing new power new anointing new tongues new power new anointing new tongues i sung the alarm over watchmen and intercessors this morning new power new anointing new tongues my god i hear the lord say new power new anointing and new tongues three three blessings are coming this morning i hear the lord say new power new anointing new tongues i want you to receive your portion this morning new power new anointing and new tongues power to subdue the enemies power to break down the forces of darkness power to trample over scorpions to trample over witches and warlocks power to trample over that which was meant to kill you power new power new power and new tongues of fire new power new anointing new tongues the new tongues is bringing a new anointing this new anointing is going to cause you to lift off i see many of you lifting off you're lifting off the lord is picking you up the lord is elevating you you're rising in the realms of the spirit this is an untouchable anointing people will wonder how did you get that anointing on your life but it's the lord's doing i sung the shofar over your life this morning as a witness new power new anointing new tongues i sung the shofar over your life i sung the shofar over your ministries i sung the shofar over your houses of prayer i sung the shofar over your worship ministries new power is being released unto, unto the saints of god new power new anointing new tongues release your receive your portion on today we are under the pentecost cloud and this is the pentecost anointing the pentecost anointing is just blowing right now so
It's the Pentecost anointing that's moving through this altar and it's moving into your homes. The Pentecost power is moving over your prayer altars and into your homes. Let the fire fall, let the wind blow, let the glory come down. Receive your portion. New power, new tongues, new anointing. Pentecost power. Receive your portion this morning. Continue to pray in tongues right where you are. As you're praying in tongues, the angels of the Lord are pouring out a fresh oil upon your life. I see a fresh oil being poured out. I just want you to receive your portion right where you are. Receive your portion of fresh oils. Fresh oils are being poured right now. So many mighty warring angels have just entered. Angels are here on assignment this morning. I want you to receive your portion. Receive your portion of Pentecost power. Many of you, your ministry is about to go to another level. You're moving from local to regional. There's a regional anointing coming on your life. Your voice will be heard. Your face will be seen. Your anointing will be felt. God is shifting and God is lifting. God is shifting and God is lifting. I see you as you're coming through the birth canal. I push you out of the birth canal. I push you out. I push you out. I push you out of the birth canal. Come into your new season. Come into your new season. I push you out of your birth canal. I push you out of that cocoon. Come into your new season. I command the watchmen under the sound of my voice that are, that are listed for promotion. Come into your new season. I push you forward in the spirit. I push you forward in the spirit. I push your ministry forward in the spirit. Come into your new season. Come into your new season. Come into your new place. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. On the walls, I speak over your life. The elevated season has come. Your hour has come. Elevation has come. Elevation has come. No devil will block you. No devil will silence you. No devil will stand in your way. We just push through every limitation. We push through every wall of darkness. We push back against every concentration. We push against everything that the enemy set up to block us. We push against it. We push against the powers of darkness. We push, we push. We push against the forces this morning. We will advance. I said we will advance. Let the fire fall, let the wind blow, let the glory come down, a new anointing, receive your portion, new power is being released, new power is being released, Things that you've had to ask prayer partners to agree with you in prayer before. You will be able to handle yourself in this new anointing. You and the Holy Ghost all by yourself will be able to take down those Goliaths. Where you were weak before in this new anointing you will be strong. Where you were afraid and intimidated before because of the enemy's roar. I declare that your roar will be louder in this season. There is a prophetic roar coming to your voice. Your roar will be louder. The roar of the watchman will be louder than the roar of the adversary. Your roar of intercession will be louder 
it will be mixed with fire and it will be mixed with power. I speak that over your life. You're coming into a new season where you were wounded before. You are now healed in this new power. You are now healed under this new anointing. Where you were taken down in the bed of affliction before, under this new anointing, you will be healing those with that same condition. The power of the healer be released unto you. You will now be healing people who have that same condition. Where the enemy tried to afflict your body in the past season, in this season, power is being released unto you to heal those who have that same condition. There is a shift in the realms of the spirit. The spirit is shifting. The spirit is shifting. Heaven is birthing. The next level of watchmen and seers. The next level of anointing is being birthed in this new season under this power. And this Pentecost power will just continue to build and to build and to build. The power of the cross be released unto you. This Pentecost power and fire will just continue to increase on your life in this season. This is the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Receive your portion. The outpouring of the Holy Ghost has come. The outpouring of the Holy Ghost. We are in the Pentecost hour. We are under the Pentecost cloud. Jesus the Messiah is the same yesterday, today and forever. And just as there was a Pentecost outpouring 2,000 years ago in the upper room, so too there is a Pentecost outpouring happening right now. Right here, right now, revival fires are falling upon our altars. Right here, right now, we're under the Pentecost anointing. Right here, right now. Acts chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. Acts chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were with all one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a mighty rushing wind. And it fell. It fell in the house upon all who were sitting in the house. Oh, hallelujah. Mighty Russian wind be released. Pentecost power is being released right now. The Pentecost power is being released right where you are. A mighty Russian wind. Ooh. A mighty Russian wind is being released. Many of you will begin to feel a mighty wind. The wind of the Spirit will blow over you. You're, you will feel this wind blowing on your hands. You will feel this wind blowing on your faces. A mighty rushing wind. The Pentecost wind is blowing. Receive by faith. The Pentecost winds is blowing through your prayer altars. The Pentecost wind is blowing to the prayer rooms. The Pentecost winds is blowing. My God. Receive the Pentecost fire in your homes this morning. Pentecost power is blowing. You're going to begin to feel a cool wind blow upon your faces. Seraphims are here this morning. I see seraphims blowing the Pentecost winds on your faces. You're going to feel a cool wind blowing on your neck, blowing down your arms. Many of you will feel the Pentecost power blowing in your hair. You will feel a cool wind. Pentecost fire. Pentecost fire be released. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. You just got to connect this morning.
connect to the altar of prayer, you're going to feel that power. Pentecost power. Let the worshipers receive Pentecost power. Let intercessors receive Pentecost power. Let the pastors receive Pentecost power. Let intercessors receive Pentecost power. Receive your portion this morning, Pentecost power. Pentecost power. Pentecost power is in the house. There's a cool breeze blowing. There's a fresh anointing blowing. Pentecost fire is entering into your homes, into your prayer altars. I see tongues of fire coming, new power being released. Receive your portion right where you are. This is the hand of the Lord. You're going to begin to feel a cool breeze just blow over you. A cool breeze is just going to blow over your, your, your hair, your faces, your hands. You're going to feel that cool breeze. That's the Pentecost power. Receive your portion this morning. Receive your portion. The revival fire is here. The revival power is here. The revival anointing is here. Let the Lord do it. Let the Lord do it. Receive power. Power for signs, wonders, and miracles. That's right, Minister Lystra. Receive power to do great exploits. New power is coming this morning. Receive power. This is the hand of the Lord, and it is marvelous. this morning a new level a new level of the anointing has come a new power has come a new grace has come it's the hand of the Lord let the Lord do it. Revival fires are falling this morning upon prayer altars. You're going to begin to walk in a new level of revival fire. Acts chapter 2 verse 1 and 2. Thank you, Junet. I see that portion of scripture. Thank you to those that are sending up your portions. Revival fire is falling. Revival fire is falling this morning. I want you to walk in this new grace and I want you to walk in this new anointing with confidence. According to your faith, be it unto you. Walk in this new level with confidence. I speak over your life. You will be a fire starter. You will be a fire bringer. You will be a fire carrier. your life. Revival fires be released right now over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Revival fire be re released in the mighty name of Jesus. Right where you are. Upon your church again. Revival fire fall upon our hearts again. E -o -co -co. Receive your portion of revival fire this morning. 
Pentecost winds are blowing. Revival. Let that be your portion this morning. Revival Fall fire. Upon your church again. Revival fire. Receive your portion. Fall upon our hearts again.
so much power is moving through this altar this morning, so much anointing, so much fire, so much power, so much oil. I'm just soaking under this anointing. I'm just soaking under this power. I'm just soaking under this oil. Even right now, I'm getting ready to bring on a powerful morning devotion. And I want you to share the prayer room right now. Send the prayer room into your group. Send the prayer room into your uh, WhatsApp groups and messengers and wherever the prayer rooms are sent i want you to share the prayer room right now tag someone minister joy can tag me on this morning share the prayer room this morning prophetess can tag me on share the prayer room as you share the prayer room let's begin to send the prayer room out revival fire is in this house and we want the fires to spread. We want the whole of our nation to be covered with the revival fires this morning. So let's share the prayer room. Let the fire fall. Let the wind blow. Let the glory come down. Send out the prayer room this morning. Share the prayer rooms. It's always important to share the prayer room and tag someone on. Tag someone on, share the prayer room and tag your sister, tag your prayer partner, tag your cousin, tag your auntie, tag someone. When you do that, you are sowing a seed into the prayer room and when you sow a seed, it gives you legal access to become a partaker for the hundredfold. So you become a partaker and you begin to receive a hundredfold from the specific anointing being released in the prayer room on that specific time. So share the prayer room this morning, tag someone on, and receive your hundredfold of this Pentecost anointing this morning. I'm bringing on a morning devotion in a short while. I'm giving you a minute or two to share the prayer rooms. I know sometimes you have to come out of the prayer room to share the prayer room and tag someone and come back in. So I'm giving you two minutes to do that. And then the morning devotion is going to come on. I just want you to rest at the altar this morning under this Pentecost power. Rest under this Pentecost fire and let the Lord do it.
a supernatural war. This is a war between light and darkness. It's a war between good and evil. It's a war between Christ and Antichrist. This supernatural war is a fight to the finished. It's not until you get tired or you get weary. We're not doing this in our strength. We're doing it in God's strength. St. Paul gives this battle cry. Put on the whole armor of God. That is a command. It is not a request. It is for your benefit. You be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. He says you put on the full armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. He says for our struggle it is not against flesh and blood, but it is against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in heavenly places. He says so therefore you better lay down all your earthly weapons that do not work and take up some weapons that will actually have benefits in your life. He says take up the full armor of God so that you may be able to resist in the evil day. And having done everything to stand firm, he says you ought to just stand firm therefore. In this passage the Apostle Paul introduces almost for the first time at least this overtly he introduces the concept of spiritual warfare. Paul says endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. The good fight of faith. We're more than conquerors through Christ. St. Paul says in Colossians 2.15 that on the cross, quote, Jesus was spoiling powers and principalities and making a public show of Satan. The Bible says for this cause came Christ into the world to destroy the works of the devil. The message is that Christ went to the cross to defeat Satan. Now the question, the point I'm making here is this. You cannot believe in redemption of the cross and not believe in the purpose of the cross. And the purpose of the cross was to destroy a very real devil whose objective is to destroy you. The Apostle Paul says you have an enemy and he's very, very real and he's banking on the fact that you will forget he is there. There is a satanic force in this universe that's trying to deceive, divide, and to destroy, and he's being far too successful. And there'll never come a time in your life where Satan decides to leave you alone. The Bible that tells you there is a real God tells you there's a very real devil with demonic forces, highly organized, totally ruthless, committed to destroying you. And that those demon powers will attack your mind and attack your body and attack your marriage and attack your finances and attack your children and attack your relationships and attack your church. That it's not your spouse who is the problem. There's an enemy. It's not your boss who is the problem. There is an enemy. It's not even your own personal internal turmoil that is the main problem. There is an enemy who lives to stir dissension and division and to see jealousy and envy to call to you and I not to have any peace of mind and peace of heart. And the enemy wants, or Paul wants you to know how strategic the enemy is, y'all, because he says, listen, the enemy is scheming against you. Somebody say scheme. Satan attacks you because you're God's child and he hates God's property. Satan attacks you because you're the light of the world and he's the prince of darkness. Satan attacks you because you're the truth and he's the father of lies. Satan attacks you because you're a soldier of the cross. You're anointed. You have the word of God. You have covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. You can take the sword of the truth of God and attack the gates of hell. You're a threat to him. You can only have one chance of survival. Put on the whole armor of God and fight back. Take the word. Take the blood of the cross and the authority of Jesus' name and drive demonic goons back into the back alleys of hell because the victory is ours through Christ the Lord. God has given you authority. Use it so that you can have victory and peace in this life. Paul says, I'm going to give you some weapons that work. And he gives us, traditionally people say six, but really I believe there are seven pieces of armor. I want to tell you briefly what they are. He says you need to make sure that you stand firm in verse 14. Gird your loins with truth. He says then you need a breastplate called righteousness. But he doesn't stop there. He says you need something for your feet. They better be shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Then he says you need a shield and it's called faith. 
He says in verse 17, you need a helmet. You need something to guard your mind. You need a helmet called salvation. And you need a sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And while most people stop there, the apostle Paul does not. He says, even though these six things are important, you need one more thing. In verse 18, he says, and pray. And so pray. If you want victory in your marriage, would you make sure you are a man or a woman of prayer? If you want victory, teenager in your high school or student at your university, then you got to become a person of prayer. And if you say you want to live victoriously and abundantly and yet you don't pray, then I don't believe you. Because prayer is how we live in the abundance of our God. We need to realize that there's a spiritual realm that is actually, honestly, more real and more important than this realm. It's just that we ignore it because we can't see it. But it's there. We are in a war. We are soldiers in the army of God. And Jesus is the captain of the host. He's given us his name. He's given us his word. He's given us his blood. And when I finally began to learn, when somebody began to teach me that the devil was behind most of my problems, some of them I was creating myself, but the devil was behind most of them, that I had authority over him, God has given us weapons and he's given us armor. We need to know how to use our weapons and we need to make sure that we are wearing our armor on a regular basis. Spiritual warfare for spiritual people. How many of you have had it with the enemy and you're ready to learn how to fight him and win the war? All right. Do it in God's strength. Be strong in the Lord. Say that with me. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. This is God's fight. It's not yours. It's God's victory. It's not yours. It's God's glory. It's not yours. It's God's kingdom. It's not yours. It's God's strength. It's not yours. Put on the whole armor of God and fight and fight to win because the victory is ours through Christ the Lord. You can never exhaust God's resources. You can never exhaust God's resources because he can do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think. You can see his mighty power. But when he gets through, he's not exhausted. He has much more strength ready to give you from day unto day. He can defeat any giant that's before you. He can produce dreams in the desert. He can produce manna that will fall from the sky. He can send cloven tongues of fire in the upper room. He can walk on the water in the Sea of Galilee and salvage you. The thing that you think is about to destroy you, he can use it for a sidewalk to save you. When you grow weary, he can make you to Run like Elijah 40 miles before the chariot. When you grow faint, he can give you strength. He can send you power that you can't begin to touch. You cannot exhaust God's power. Our God is an awesome God. He is full of grace and truth. He is the almighty El Shaddai, the conqueror of death, hell, and the grave. He's the conqueror of sickness and death. He's the conqueror of powers and principalities. He's the conqueror from Calvary. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's the Lord of glory and he's coming soon with power and great glory. This is about the eternal souls of men and women. This is about your sons and your daughters. This is about the future of this nation. It's time for those who name the name of God to suit up and show up. This is a fight to the finish and I intend to win it with the help of almighty God. Put on the whole armor of God and stand beside me and take the word of the holiness of the father. Fight the good fight of faith resist the devil and he will flee from you and for those of you who name the name of christ stop allowing satan and his demonic goons to to destroy your marriage put on the whole armor of god and fight back quit allowing him to attack your health the bible says by his stripes we are healed Quit allowing him to attack your finances. The Bible says God will rebuke the devourer for your sake. He will make him give it back to you sevenfold. Stop allowing the devil to rob you of your peace because Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. Stop allowing Satan to rob you of your joy. In his presence is the fullness of joy. Do you want it? Then fight for it. Do you want it? Then fight for it.
Right now, we are in the midst of a supernatural war. This is a war. Bye. 